What's cracking TNC squad? It's your girl CC and I'm back with another banger. Pissed the fuck off, irritated, stuck in another fucking state. Yeah, that's right. So, long story motherfucking short because I'm gonna have a story time coming out about this whole situation. Never again will I work the Kentucky Derby. Never again. Never the fuck again, I promise you. It was 88 degrees yesterday. It was literally 88, but the heat and the sun, oh my God. I was standing in the sun the whole 10 hour shift, literally. To the point where I almost passed out. Like I was standing against the wall. EMS walked up to me, asked was I okay and stuff. Like I just was so, but that's why I gotta watch the story time. So now we're stuck out here because I wanted to go home but you know the rest of the workers don't go home till tomorrow so mom was like okay cool like let's rent a car and just go home because y'all know my mom got a bad back my mom has like her feet are really swollen right now and everything she gotta get like it's probably sound like I'm yelling y'all but it's because it's loud ass street but she got to get insulin shots and all of that shit right now in her back because her back is like messed up. So we came here to get a car. They're on some bullshit trying to not to take this credit card that mom has. Bro, like I'm gonna get pissed the fuck off. Y'all could have just left us at our hotel that we was at if y'all was gonna be doing all this. And I could have just figured out how to get home later when the rest of the workers got off of work. Because that's what we were going to do. But then I was just like, no. Because then we, my mom would have to be driving at night. I really don't want her driving at night. So, I'm just like, get a rental. And we both go half on the fucking rental. That way, we both only made half of the money that we came down here to make. Like, literally. Fuck it. Like, I'm not going to stay somewhere I'm miserable and getting talked about. And my mom's not going to stay somewhere that... I'm not going to stay somewhere that my mom, like, literally is back legs all of this shit so yeah So y'all, hey, after that last clip y'all seen where I was sitting in that rental car and um, my mama had to go in basically, y'all, we were in like a part of Indiana, but I think they were a little tabby racist because like he was just like so rude. Like at first he was nice to mom, but then towards the end, he basically was just like, nope, I'm not splitting the payments up, bro. My mama had, mama told him like, I have five times how much you're charging me for this damn rental on this, just this card. He's like, no, some, some, some. So mom's like, okay, can you use this card? He was just being an asshole, basically wouldn't take the card. Mama kept, sh bro, I told mama like, she was pulling up her bank statements, like all of that shit showing them like, baby, I have racks in my accounts. I can afford the thing. Can you please just run this shit? Like, basically y'all, he was just, being an asshole and he said no because we were bringing the car to Cincinnati and that don't have a fucking stop sign. you know when you when you, the when they you staring at, nigga? when they get um when you take a rental like a rental car from one state to another they don't get the car back so he basically was just being an asshole because he was like well you're taking it to Cincinnati and the car is going to be stuck staying in Cincinnati you're not even bringing it back type stuff so he said no we couldn't do that but it, just imagine we were stuck outside basically we were stuck outside mom was trying to call the bank and see like if she could figure out how to do the card situation 
we tried to show them a picture of another car she had they wouldn't accept that so basically at that point we just went outside and we had a suitcase my mom's heavy ass book bag my mom was carrying her book bag for a long time because she didn't tell me it was heavy towards the end so we had my mom a suitcase my mom's book bag a blog bag and a nike book bag so we had hella shit with us y'all and we're just walking around walking the fuck around looking homeless i like literally i know what homeless people feel like not know what they feel like but like at that moment i felt so embarrassed having we had to go inside of bob evans and sit in there for like an hour and a and um and a half waiting because i had to call him and ask him to please clock out and drive two and a half hours to come get us your baby up but he did it though because period but now we're at home y'all successfully my mom drove back we're gonna finish the story when we get done go back to Popeyes. hold on one second please uh, uh do i want that shrimp thing again do i want to mm, i don't know what was that thing called that we got oh. a shrimp tackle box that's what it was Shrimp tackle box. Remember, we couldn't see it. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. What is it like? The shrimp tackle box. Can, can I get the shrimp tackle box? Tacky taco. Tackle. Your side. Fries. Anything else? Uh, can I, I get the? Can I get the? Don't y'all got like a chicken taco box or something like that? The surf and turf, it comes with two tenders, four shrimp, a biscuit, and a side. Yeah, let me get that. The side is uh, fries. More mild or spicy tenders? Mild. Anything else? And can I get two strawberry lemonades? Chilled or frozen? Chill. Chill. Anything else? That's it. 1896. Wait, it's chill. No, but I was saying wait till you like it's chilled the frozen one. No. So it's chilled on ice. No, no, no. I don't want chilled if it's on ice. Mm -hmm. I'm about to ask him. Look, we're about to drain it. Shut up! I didn't ask. Him. Why the fuck you I don't even say that. Excuse me. Is the chilled one on ice or is it the frozen one? The frozen one is a slushy. That's the one with no ice. Okay, can I do one of those that way? You said what flavor? One of those that way, the strawberry one. Thank you. Boy, my brother. It was not that one. Y'all, Tate just don't like to be like, like he's one of those when he goes to a restaurant, if his food wrong, he's not going to say nothing. I'm the type. Okay, he's not going to, but like in a situation like this, he's not going to say nothing. Me? Bro, I'm not going to just stick with that one ice because I'm going to be mad as fuck. I don't care not me, me but y'all basically we was walking around like bro we was walking around for a long time and we had to go in stores taking all these bags with us after we left the restaurant because we couldn't stay at the restaurant forever you know so like any sauce or anything? Uh, barbecue and ranch I'm sorry. barbecue and ranch you actually got a barbecue would you like any other sauce uh just ranch they don't hit this lady because look at her not even paying attention. Like, she is so retarded. I cannot stand when people walk in the parking lot and they're just not paying attention. Why the fuck you ask somebody what sauce I got? Oh, we don't have it. Why do you say <laughs> do you want, what sauce do you want? But we don't have barbecue. Don't wait till I fucking say it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, bro, I was gonna fuck. record it, but me and my mom was walking around, y'all. And then we walk, we cut, we, me and my mom thought we was gonna walk to Gabe's. While we walk, it's a mall, but it was the back of the mall. We were like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, we're not finna lug all the, this, we're rolling around a fucking suitcase. Mom has a book bag on and a bag. I have a bag. Like, we had so much shit. So then, me and mom was sitting under a tree, but I seen Tay was like 15 minutes away. Mind you, he's two hours and 16 minutes away. So it fine, he was finally 15 minutes away. I'm like, Ma, it's finna rain. Like, we gotta start walking back to Bob Evans. Mind you, Bob Evans was like a good three, four minute walk. So she's like, all right. So I put her book bag on because her book bag was heavy. I put got the suitcase 
and then i made her give me the other bag she was like she's gonna stop and start looking to me it's not heavy i said mom your back is gonna hurt like you're older than me i'm gonna do it thank you we got a drink uh, you don't forgot already um, so I and I think they gave you barbecue sauce. This bitch oh, wait, just no. said she didn't have no. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. More? I don't know what they gave. It looked like barbecue sauce. What is it? Cocktail sauce? Ew, why do they give us that every time? I know nobody asked for that. I thought that she was making it. What the fuck is they backing up? I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is a small parking lot, and it's a store, a Dunkin', and like a restaurant, so it's just like too much going on. But y'all we just got us some food he's going in the store to get whatever he's going to go get but after we walked around the freaking indiana it was like clarksville indiana we was walking around for two hours but we were sitting in the back of the mall under a tree but like it was like a whole bunch of like homeless people not back there but walking around and we seen the sheriffs coming so we didn't want them them to like call the police and I had some weed, y'all. So I'm like, bro, I don't know Indiana laws. Like, I'm not trying to go to jail out here. So I, we was like, I was like, Ma, let's get up and walk like back to Bob Evans because we had paid to eat at Bob Evans and we were sitting there for a minute. And we told our waitress what was going on. But like, she thought we was going to an airport. Girl, we wish. We had a whole situation with Enterprise, but we had explained it to her. So we just went back and sat there. But by the time we had made it back over there from like walking, Tay was like, you know, I'm pulling up, so I'm like, okay, cool. Mama went in to go pee. Tay pulled up. We put everything in the car. My mom got in the car. My mom drove back home. We was just jamming out to some, like, music. I ain't gonna lie, like, hella music that my mom used to play when I was growing up. So we was just jamming out to some music. Tay sat right there and took a nap for two hours. Literally, like, he did not wake up until we was 20 minutes away from the house. So he went and took him a nice old nap and yeah better just to say don't never go on a work trip with motherfuckers that just be like it just be too much don't never go on a work trip without driving yourself that's all i'm going to say from that don't go on a work trip unless you're driving no, yourself don't go on a work trip with an unofficial company it's just like it was too much going on they're, they're i'm gonna have a whole story time about how i was embarrassed at the fucking kentucky derby y'all know the kentucky derby if you know you know that is the most time where you got the richest motherfuckers out like they have fbi swat surrounding the area because people terry like they said what is it called terrorists terrorists they said terrorists try to come to like the kentucky derby because they know rich people are there my mom was searching bags. She said some lady had a good over $10,000 in all $100 bills. And the lady said she was coming there to bet half of it on a horse. Bitch, are you crazy? Like, what? So, baby, I ain't gonna lie. It, it, I'm gonna have a whole story time about how I literally had a heat stroke damn near. Like, I'm gonna insert the clip of my face and everything. It was crazy, y'all, but... That shit is crazy. But better to say, make sure you got a man like mine that's gonna come and get you. Because my man, he was mad. He could he probably was mad in his head talking shit the whole time. Because I had to leave work. No, he did have to leave work. I already said that though. Tay so literally had to call his well text his boss. And then when he got back to his job, because his job is like driving cars, he got back to his job after he just drove an hour. He had to come drive two hours to come like get me. Literally he literally was says, on his way back whoa, to his job to go get another out. car to drive. And he basically like, I'm like, bro, I swear I have appreciated his boss so much for allowing him to get off. But he had showed her proof. Like, this is where I'm going. My girl is here. So, baby, we would never lie about something like that because I would never want to do that again. And I'll never do that again. But better to say, y'all, this is the end of the video. I was stranded in Clarksville, Indiana. So if you're from there, hey.